So here's what we're going to do for the bridge rectifier. That's what we're going to get done today. These are called pin extractors. These devices here remove pins, both male and female pins, that go in these Molex connectors. Whoa, focus. I'm actually going to reuse the old Molex connector just because there's nothing wrong with it. I chopped the back off for because uh, that was what had all the epoxy in it. We've got brand new pins. These are female pins. Focus. These are female pins. I've got three of those because that's what we need is three. This is a specialized pin crimper, which is what you use for those Molex pins. And the diodes are around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm working on those. Okay. We'll see those in a minute. See those in a minute. Okay, shop dummy's got his uh, surgery center there put together. This is my secondary shop, not the first pile of parts that you saw. This is somewhere else, and we'll go on a grand tour of this 14 by 14 uh, shop. We're building on a bench. This is a workbench that my father built back in the 60s. And uh, the more you get to know me, the more you realize that I like old stuff. I like the history behind old stuff. Uh, my dad had this. Actually, my grandfather, my grandparents had this in their garage forever and ever. My dad built this when he was a kid in the late 50s, early 60s. So my dad's gone, but his tools and his handiwork live on. It's a great old bench. All right, take it away. So this is a diode. Um, diodes act as, they've been known as valves. I call them little gates. Um, little gates. This is a 6 amp now our AC charging system is rated at 3 amps, but we believe in overkill since the last ones did go up in smoke. The way these work is they do have a band on the top of them. Power does only go one way. It will only flow up this way through the band. If power does try to come back this way, it will stop. If you hook ground coming up this way, ground will not flow up this way, but ground does flow that way. So it makes your power directional. Since AC current is just that, alternating current, you can have positive and negative on any lead at any time. Use this to create a direct current. And what you do is you take two diodes, and you hook them so that they are backwards to each other. One is going to allow ground through, one is going to allow positive through. You'll hook this to obviously your ground circuit, this to your positive circuit, and there you now have direct current on this side. We're going to do the identical thing like this to both pins, both the neutral and the hot coming off of our alternator, and change it over to direct current. We do have three pins here. The three pins are set up so that one will be the neutral of the AC, one will be the positive of the AC, and then we're going to have positive for the 12 volt DC. And then the uh, extra grounds will just go into a fork which will hook to the ground on the vehicle. Oh and real quick these little bands that he has on here that he's identifying the the hot and the neutral that's just insulation off uh, probably like a number 14 wire he just pulled the pulled the insulation off of a 14 gauge here little pieces of wire and they work really handy as uh, just identifiers so you know what leg does what and it also protects it from contacting ground or anywhere it shouldn't be contacting. Okay, that's enough of me.
we've, got, we've gone ahead and bent this into the shape that we need. So obviously the two positives going here, we know that this particular one is our positive, the other two fitting right in. And since these are all solid leads, they do <laughs> they are a little more of a pain to work around here. I mentioned it's a little more of a pain to work around here. Oh. When these female pins or the male pins, they have uh, snap retainers in them, and you'll feel them click when they get into their fully seated position. That one's obviously gone past it a little bit. This plug's a little beat up because it got hot when we smoked the old rectifier. But you push them into you hear them click or feel them click, and, and there you go. Good. And you see they're all lined up there. The depth is proper. Depth is proper. We have this, which will hook to our uh, ground source. We'll go ahead and epoxy all this in, and uh, hopefully this will work. That's that. 20 minutes and saves you having to buy a new one. Bridge rectifier.